So that huge attack in Ottawa that everybody's talking about and oh fuck with that uh, what the hell's his name Michael Zahaf Bibo um, apparently this is fuck he got motivated to basically shoot up Ottawa or to basically do a jihad uh, that's what they're saying because he read Twitter posts Twitter posts from like ISIS uh, what's his name uh, Abu Khalid al Canada, whatever, Canadi. Must sound better in their in their native tongue to say those names, because I know in English it just fucking butchers them. But anyway, um, apparently this guy, uh, uh, Abu, yeah, Abu, let's we'll call him Abu, it's easier, uh, was dropping tweets urging Canadians, or uh, urging Muslims in Canada to attack, or, or to start attacks in Canada. Like, holy fuck, I knew Twitter was stupid, but I didn't realize it could be used to start wars. Like, that's fucked. I, I don't understand Twitter. Twitter's a stupid thing. Yeah, I have it. I don't know what to do with it. I just use it to whore out the videos. Like, when I see that, oh, you got a new follower, I say, why the fuck would anybody follow my Twitter? I don't put anything up there. It's kind of a pointless thing. But anyway, whatever. That's up to them. But, uh... Yeah, they're saying that uh, they've learned through the current investigation that the individual has been in Ottawa since October 2nd, 2014, that he was in town to deal with a passport issue, but that he was hoping to leave for Syria, Commander said. And then all of a sudden they said that they did some research on his background, and he was a high risk to travel, and then he got some tweets on the Twitter, and he decided to go fucking nuts and kill a bunch of people. <sighs> Whatever. Fucking stupid idiots, eh? Because there was a talk yesterday saying that the reason why this happened was because Buddy Van Dudo suffered from mental illnesses and he he had enough. And I was like, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. You know, it's not cool that he went around shooting people. That's fucking stupid. But the fact that he snapped due to mental illnesses in the world we live in now, it's pretty legit. You know, like, it's fucking hard to live day to day nowadays with all these goddamn taxes out there. Holy shit. You know, they got, like, you got taxes on your driving. You gotta buy those stupid freaking stickers for your license plate, right? You, know, you, you buy a house, you got property tax, and you got water tax, and you got your fucking heating tax, your electricity tax, you got income tax, you get a job, you gotta pay the government money, it's like, yeah, I'm making money, but I gotta pay the government money, you know, you got income tax, you got all sorts of different taxes that I'm, I'm missing, you wanna smoke cigarettes, tobacco tax, you wanna get into the booze, you got liquor taxes, you know, there's, after a while, it's so hard to make it, like right now, it's pretty tough to make a buy for anybody making under 15 bucks an hour who wants to live by themselves. Actually, I would say under 16 bucks an hour because there's fuck all for jobs in this town, for instance, and the rent is way too high. Like, an apartment the size of my top floor, or actually I would say the size of my bottom floor, in North Bay, goes for about a thousand bucks a month, non-inclusive. You still gotta pay for your, your power hookup. And they're usually electric heat, so... Come winter time, power hookup, electric heat, yeah, you're going broke. Sucks. So a lot of people have to shack up with people they don't know, you know, get roommates and stuff. Sometimes it works out. Most of the time it doesn't, because people just fucking clash nowadays. Nobody can get along. It's freaking hilarious. That's why, like, moving for me, like, everybody's like, oh, when are you going to move to London? When are you going to move to London? I don't know if I want to, because it costs me less to live in this house than it does to live in an apartment, because apartments are fucking kife and they're so expensive. And this house has a garage attached, and it cost me like $760 a month for the mortgage. Like, why the fuck would I want to move, you know? Sure, there's no jobs around here, but I'll find something. I'm not too worried. And judging by the sound of it, I'm probably going to have a job for the next two years anyway, so until we can figure out what the fuck's really going on and shit gets dead. Why <sighs> the fuck am I tired? What the hell was I going to say? I can't even remember. I love when I do that. I completely forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, about jobs and stuff. Like, jobs in London, there's plenty. But housing costs, you know, I'm already established. You know, I'm sure I can make the $1,200 a month I need to fucking survive. You know, I'm sure I can pull it off. So, we'll figure that out when time comes. But, now with all the taxes and nonsense, it's like, holy shit. How do the rich stay rich? What the fuck do they know that I don't? I need that information like yesterday. Big times. I got a tickle in my throat. It's pissing me off. I got a tickle in my throat. It's pissing me off. I got a tickle in my throat. It's fucking pissing me off. I'm gonna punch myself in the face. Doot, doot. Alrighty, well, I want a coffee. Just been uh, going through YouTube, seeing if anybody uploaded anything, and just watching some pool videos, seeing what's going on. So I'm gonna make a coffee. But first, I'm gonna clean up some shit. 
What if I brought an e dart down with me? I guess I didn't. Oh my goodness. Fucking cat attacked my shoe. And apparently a sock. Anyway, let's uh, get him. I'm gonna stand outside with him so he doesn't do anything stupid. Okay, just chill. See, he wants to go outside now, but he's like, he's gotta wait for me. Cause... Hey, you don't bark. Back it up. Back it up. Oh, uh, for freak's sake, see? Uh, one of these days, Rex is gonna come and collect all these fucking things. Yeah, he needs to do some work on the old uh, snowblower one here. Apparently it's got an electric clutch and the electric clutch is fried, but uh, yeah. And I'm hoping Oreo goes for a dump soon, because that'd be nice. I got a coffee waiting. If I leave it alone too long, the cat will drink it. Last thing I need is that cat on the fucking coffee. But uh, yeah, this shit. I need to start getting this stuff out. Look at how much there's, uh, there is of this here, this wicker, this fucking raspberry bush. Look how much it took over my lawn. Look at how much deeper my lawn goes from where I'm standing to the fence has to be at least 20 feet. Has to, like almost, probably not. I don't know, it could be around that, but like my backyard goes from here straight across. Oh shit, where'd my dog go? Oh dick, where's my dog? Fuck, I wasn't paying attention and I just lost our, oh there he is. Oh, thank God, such a little Muppet. But um, yeah, I wanna take care of that crap over there. And I was thinking about just like completely wrecking the soil underneath and seeing if I can just cause them to rot and die. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna upload, like uplift all that. Oh my goodness! I need like a like a, like a shredder, like a lawnmower, like kind of like a snowblower, but instead of the auger, just have blades on it, so I can drive it over top and just fucking fire wood chips across the yard. That'd be awesome. Holy sweet merciful tits! This coffee smells fucking delicious. Alrighty, well, it's almost 3:30, almost time to head into work. Just been playing Marvel and stuff, and she's just been sleeping at the doors. She's so fluffy. And Oreo's been down here. Oh, he didn't shit on the carpet. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? So he took a big shit outside, eh? Yeah, it's because he took a big shit outside. Big fucking filthy shit right at the hedge maze. But uh, I'm going to have to head off to work very, very fucking shortly. So yeah, like I was talking about last night on the vlog there, uh, I'm probably going to have a job for a while because uh, I mentioned before about the Bell buying up Bell Alliant, and that's actually, if you Google search it, you'll find the article. It's pretty fucked. Like... That's like, you know, I don't know, like, I, I, I'm trying to think of, that's like Microsoft buying out Xbox, you know, <laughs> like, it's like you already fucking own it, how can you buy something you already sort of own, but uh, apparently sister companies are different, I don't know, uh, HP is doing the same thing, you know, you have Hewlett Packard and they deal in business and computers for personal use, like consumer and business, that's what it is, well they're splitting their shit up, that's right, they're splitting their shit up between computers, for businesses and computers for home so they're gonna have a new version of HP coming out and they're taking a fortune uh, they're gonna make two fortune 50 they call them out of a fortune 100 whatever the fuck it is so they're gonna make two fortune 50 companies out of one fortune 100 and I'm thinking it has something to do with income tax or some shit like that where it's gonna help them big time in the long run with taxes and hopefully in the long run by doing this their home computers are built a little fucking better because lately HP laptops have had nothing but train wreck experiences. Some of you out there probably have HPs and they've been reliable as fuck. But an actual stat shows that Hewlett Packard fucking uh, uh, laptops have a 36% chance fail rate within the first two months. And the fail is not like something simple. It's like the motherboard decides, I don't want to be a motherboard anymore, I want to be a tea biscuit, and then shits the fucking bed. So luckily most places, even if you buy them used, they give you a 90 day warranty so that if it does shit the bed in the first two months, it's only 60 days, you can still bring it back and get her fixed for free. But you know, most of the time it comes with a one year manufacturers and you can extend that to three years if you want to throw more money at it. But HP's got to get their shit together and start fucking like they had Beats Audio in their, in their, in their components, in their speakers and stuff. And like that's good sounding speakers for a laptop, like it ain't no home hi-fi stereo. But it's not too bad. And then, uh, like, they got all this nice technology in there. But the major problem is, is um, the laptops are fucking kaif. I forgot my phone, I think. Unless it's in my pocket. Nope. Forgot my phone. I need my phone. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, mom and dad each have a Hewlett Packard PC. And, you know, as far as technically and, and whatnot, the computers have been holding up pretty well. Like, they're not doing too bad for PCs. And they're both triple core AMDs. 
So those are holding up really, really well, except for the fact that Dad keeps installing fucking junk on his and slowing it right down. But ever since I put the ad blocker on his computer and uh, got a couple other things running in the background, that thing's not firing, is it? I'm using this thing today. That's why I was wondering if it was firing, because I sat her down and the pin's wide open, so you can just totally push her in, eh? It'll fire. But she's not firing, so that's a bonus. But I got to get ready to get to work. But yeah, so far, their computers are holding up pretty well. Uh, I'm going over there in a couple days on Sunday because uh, Thanksgiving turkey, that's what we're having. I know it's like a week after or two weeks after Thanksgiving and we're having Thanksgiving then. Reason being is um, Thanksgiving this year was kind of postponed due to the unforeseen circumstances that happened and that was the passing of my aunt and uncle. My parents were down south the whole time and didn't come home until after Thanksgiving. So we uh, just never had. Yeah, that was, uh, that was right cocked. Uh, I don't know what the fuck those girls were freaking out about, but uh, obviously they're off their meds. Oh, hey, look at the trees. Fucking telephone posts in their natural habitat laying down. Wonder where the fuck those, <gasps> those could be the fiber optic uplink pipes going to my house. Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be awesome to have some fiber optic net and then I could run a web server right off of my computer. That'd be awesome. Fucking full screen there sends out an email and I didn't realize that this just recently applied to us. But uh, you know how when you're on AdSense and you fuck around and you get a bunch of community strikes and your AdSense gets suspended? Well apparently that didn't apply to, to network people. But now it does, so there is honestly no reason to be in a network if you're just in YouTube for the money. Like if you're just in it to make AdSense, there is no fucking reason to be... Why is everybody looking at my car? Do I have like dog shit on the hood or something? I'm gonna have to fucking take a look at my car when I get out. I didn't look weird when I walked by it, but uh, like those kids were even fucking stink eyeing my car. Is there a great big sign on the front that says suck a man's dick or something? Like fucking everybody's just eyeing me up. Like everybody's fucking looking, those girls back there are just cackling like whores, so I don't know what the fuck's going on. Jesus, never worked, oh my goodness. She's gonna crawl that thing and idle. Crawl it and idle. We are currently doing 30. Let's see if she can get her up to 40. Holy fuck, she's got her up to 40, boys. Alright, hold her there, we're in a res zone. We can't go any faster, cops get mad. Sweet, merciful Jesus, where the fuck is she going? She is pulling over to let me pass. Because she is that fucking nervous. Wow! Welcome to North Bay! Yep, she just got back on the road, people. She pulled over to let everybody pass because she was nervous. Like, Welcome to North Bay where we ain't got the dumbest fucking drivers, yeah. Fucking lights green. Fucking lights green. Turn the corner to a fucking red light. The other light was green. See, I just used uh, liquor and whores and made a song. See how I did that? Fuck, I need to invest in some Windex and just leave it in the car. I know, that shit freezes in the winter. My window's frostier than a Tim Horton cinnamon bun, for sakes. It's because of all the viping. Er, day I'm viping. Holy Jesus Murphy, don't do the lane change now, bud. You'll die. Oh, shit. We're going to have a collision. My goodness, people are getting crazy today. Thought for sure he was just gonna cut right for that car. And that's the other reason why I'm so hesitant to get a motorbike. Oh my goodness. It's not just the insurance and all that, it's the fucking people in this town. They don't look when they turn, so not only do you gotta pay attention to, to what you're doing, you gotta pay attention to what every fucking everybody else is doing, or otherwise you're gonna have a bad time. And I got a lot of buddies who ride motorbike and a bunch of them who've been injured because of people doing lane changes and just not fucking checking blind spots. And right, and like my one buddy, um, he used to drive a little 450 Honda or something like that. I think it was a Honda. It's a red and white motorbike, little kind of like Rex's DR, like one of those Enduros. And um, he's fucking, he was going down Lakeshore and he was in the right hand lane, like where I am now, going down Lakeshore. Some dickhead. Oh shit. I'm not gonna make it by it. It's a fucking van. And this guy's like right in the middle of the road. And I can't hug over. And no, see that? That maneuver? Like, I, I can't right now. I'm gonna fucking crash. Like, I'm gonna kill this guy. 
And uh, oh, and now he takes a sidewalk because he wants to jump for position. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I know, don't get mad, they have the right to be on the road too. Yeah, they do, but do they gotta wibble and wobble around at 10 kilometers a fucking hour? Like, my goodness, and the cars beside me are hugging into the white lines. It's like, you can't inch over. Oh, good, yeah. Keep talking, keep talking. Get hooked up, I got things, fucking rights. You know, it's like, ah, son of a bitch. Okay, good, it's just turning. But yeah, like I was saying, my buddy was on his bike and he was in the lane I'm in now, and there was a guy in the passing lane, and uh, there was a, it was right at the McDonald's, around where the McDonald's is down on Lakeshore. And uh, buddy was, some, I guess somebody was turning into the lane or whatever. Anyway, he had to make an evasive lane change. Like buddy decided like he wanted to go, he didn't want to wait for people to turn into McDonald's or wherever they were turning into. So he decides to jump over to the right lane without checking because he didn't see anything. And um, I don't know how the fuck he didn't hear my buddy's motorbike because I don't even think he had a muffler on it. It just sounded like a snappy, wicked fart. Like he'd honk on it, like Brah! Like it sounded like me after eating burrito Tuesdays and shit. Taco Tuesday, brat, 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 you know? And uh, sure enough, uh, this, this person in the car just made the lane change, just fucking made her. Didn't even give a shit, and my buddy caught it last second, and like he got on the horn, and the person was like, so set in their ways to make that lane change, no fucks were given, and my buddy was like, shit, so he hammers on the brake and just yanks her to the side of the road, and ends up just piling into a fucking telephone post. Like his bike was damaged, his rim was warped, his tire was flat, uh, front forks got bent. Fuck, what else happened? I think he wrecked the handlebars on it. Um, yeah, the impact, like he, he went flying off and he clipped the uh, telephone post with his shoulder and uh, the bike basically hit the telephone post and came to a dead stop and just pretty much the whole front end was shot, so. That's when, that's when he was telling me, he's like, you know, motorbikes are awesome and stuff, but fuck people in this town, just don't give a shit, like, and like, when you're riding a motorbike, see how that guy in front of me on the motorbike, he's riding right up against the yellow line? That's proper. You're supposed to ride in front of the driver of a vehicle. So I guess in England, you would ride on the other side so that you're in front of the, uh, the driver, so that when he's, when the driver of a car is looking forward, all they see is your motorbike. Mind you, doesn't matter what side of the road you're in, you should be able to see it, the roads aren't that wide. But still, it's like, to not notice them, especially because motorbikes are fucking loud a lot of the times. Like, you can hear them coming from a mile away, especially if Buddy's just goosing her. Oh, this just in, North Bay has a new law coming into effect. See that minivan up there with the one working headlight? Okay, well, this new law is fucked. Before, you know, if a cop caught you with a headlight out, he'd pull you over and say, hey, are you where your headlight's out? And you'd, be, you'd play dumb and be like, oh, it is? Oh, I didn't know. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll get that fixed tomorrow. And then they just let you off with a warning. Now, if you get caught with a light bulb out, brake light, fucking headlight, whatever, the cops pull you over and fine you 30 fucking dollars right off the bat. Like, sometimes, you know, you fire up your car, you don't have somebody else to hit the brakes, so you can't tell if your brake lights are working. Not a big deal. But other times, it's like... How the fuck are you gonna walk around around your car and make sure every light works when the brake lights require a brake to be pressed? So then you gotta break out your window fucking scraper for the winter and wedge it between the seat and the brake pedal while the car is running and then go check the brake lights to make sure they're all firing. That's the only way I could think of doing it. That's how I did it, just to make sure everything worked. And it's like, what if you're out and about? Like, for instance, I go to work, right? So I'm out right now at four, headlights are working. Come midnight, I turn on my headlights and one pops. Well, I can't really go to crappy tire and drive a new bulb into it. I don't have any bulbs at home, so I guess I'm going to have to buy some bulbs and keep them on hand. And then if it breaks, have a toolkit in the car to change it out right away because otherwise the cops are going to nail me for 30 fucking dollars. Like, it's a horseshit law. Yeah, I understand. you got to have your vehicle in perfect working order. But once the officer, you know, stops you and says, yeah, by the way, you have a, a tail light out or a headlight out, you need to get that fixed. That's all it should be, you know? But, no, 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 they want to throw money at it. So, obviously, North Bay Police, that's one way to make money back for that fucking travesty over at uh, Memorial Gardens, the new hockey rink. They dumped a whole bunch of money into it, and then 
North Bay goes, holy shit, we're $2.2 million in deficit. How the fuck are we ever going to make that money back? What are we going to do? So, like, they're talking about raising property taxes and all this because they fucked up. Like, we got to pay because they fucked up. Then you wonder why mental illness is on a, on a rise. Maybe because the rich keep fucking tormenting the poor and causing us to have complete nervous fucking breakdowns. And then we just want to rip tit, you know? Then we just get all fucking antsy. That's what's going on. I laughed because it took this incident in Ottawa where this depressed guy who got fucking conned in by Twitter feeds to go and shoot up military people. You know, it, 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 the guy had mental illnesses. And then now Harper's all like, we're gonna fucking focus on mental illness more. Like it takes a major travers, travesty to happen for those fucking idiots to get off their asses and do something about it. Like, this is fucked. So what, we gotta kill people and make a great big fucking media stream about it and then shit gets done? How about you prevent it before it fucking happens, you stupid sons of bitches? Jesus. And that's my problem with the government. It's like they don't fucking think. Like, for instance, this oil pipeline. They wanna drive an oil pipeline right through our drinking water, the lake by my house. You know, what if that fucking thing besides the BP oil spill on us now we got no drinking water. Way to go government. And then they'd be like, oh my God, we better fucking beg for money to clean that up. And it's like, go fuck yourselves, you sons of bitches. You shouldn't have done it in the first place. Grow a fucking brain instead of a wallet. But no, no, government's stupid. Government's stupid. Like, honestly, I have no fucking idea how the cock some of these government dicks made it past grade 10 because they are fucking dumb. But anyway, people, I'm at work now. I'm going to head her inside and get this shift over with. Leave comments. Uh, for commenting on comments, what I'm going to do is once I get 15 comments that I can use, I'm rolling a video of commenting on comments. So that's how I'm going to do it. So they're not going to be on Wednesdays. They're going to be at any given fucking time of day. But anyway, people, I'm going to head her inside and get this shift over with. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you liked it. If you did, click the like button. And until next time, keep on vlogging.